Look at that. Ooh, there goes my skin. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chomping with Chris. In this episode, I will be trying the long-awaited Costco rotisserie chicken. This chicken is famously known for being very cheap. Uh, you can read articles, it's like $4.99 for a chicken, but in actuality, it costs $1.69 per pound. Um, so we got a smaller chicken because uh, we don't eat that much. Um, and this one actually came out to be $4.18, I think. So this is what it looks like. We put it on a plate already. And when we poured it out, there were some juices in the box that we poured onto it. It smells pretty good. Um, <clears throat> but I did read that it's injected with a lot of salt and saline. So don't eat a lot of them. And I uh, hope it tastes good. So I will show you the beautiful view of what it looks like. And then I will try it and uh, see what it tastes like. So here is the chicken. And here is the side view of how tall it is. Look at those legs and the wings right there. Right there. Wings, legs. All right, so here I have the scent of the chicken wafting into my nostrils, but I will be cutting it. Uh, where should I start? Maybe I'll cut the leg off first. Maybe I'll try, okay, so here is a really easy piece that I can just get off, so. Ooh, there goes my skin. Okay, here it is. Uh, bit pink it smells good it looks pretty tender actually so let me try this wow okay so that's actually not bad <laughs> it's actually really good um, I've had rotisserie chicken uh, from Kroger I've bought it so grocery rotisserie chicken I've had from Kroger before and the flavor of the skin on the outside for the Kroger chicken is really good, but when you get to the chicken, it's like really dry and stringy and the meat just doesn't uh, entice you to take another bite just because it's so dry. Um, but this chicken, uh, let me try the skin. So the skin is also pretty good uh, in comparison to the Kroger chicken, and I'm comparing it to Kroger because it's the only <laughs> other one I've had. Um, but this, the skin is really good flavor-wise. I don't think it's as crispy as the one that Kroger had, but you know, things might have changed. My memory is not that great maybe, but skin is pretty good. But what really makes this stand out, I think, is the fact that the meat inside is really juicy, really tender, and flavorful. Like, I could keep going and eating more of this. And I typically only like, you know, chicken wings because it doesn't have a lot of meat. It's mostly skin. Um, chicken breast if it's cooked well and juicy maybe, but I typically don't like chicken meat because it's dry. Um, but let me try this again. Okay, so I tried another piece that's slightly more on the body of the chicken and away from more of the fatty, kind of stringy areas. Um, and in this case, it was slightly drier than the first piece I had, but still not as dry as the Kroger one. So flavor-wise, pretty good. I think for the price, this is a really great deal. You know, 418 for a chicken of that size. Um, could feed a lot of people. Uh, flavor is good. The Kroger one is probably about this big and costs more, I think, and it's drier. So uh, maybe I'll try a wing. Who knows? Ugh, I can't get it off. So I'll just try a leg and, and we'll call it a day so I can enjoy more of it. Uh, but Oh, man. Oh, okay. I did not see this. There is a string. I think there's a string here. Yeah, there's a, a string. I don't know if you can see it right here. That's keeping it together. So I did not see that. So uh, I will need to untie these strings so I can free my legs. My legs. <laughs> 
So that's kind of like the pull factor. It easily pulls off, which is good. So here is the leg, and uh, I'll just eat it. Yeah, so some parts of that leg were a little bit mm, more charred, I guess, but a little bit dry on some areas, but I think in general, pretty good. I can see, you know, the juices looks really tender. Overall, great, flav great flavor, great price. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend trying this. Um, and if, you know, you're lazy one day and you don't want to cook, just grab it from Costco. Um, but I wouldn't recommend... <laughs> Uh, doing this on a frequent basis just because from what I've read um, how much salt they put into this um, and just in general any pre-cooked food typically is not as healthy as what you can prepare at home by yourself but anyway uh, you know I would give a thumbs up to try the Costco chicken probably maybe 7.5 out of 10 so pretty good